Welcome to The Boiling Point. I am with Steven Taylor, and we are actually in the lobby of the Ware Boiler University. And I thought we'd talk a little bit about a steam drum. And we happen to have a steam drum right in the lobby, but Steven, this is not the direction of a steam drum. No, you see one like this, you know there's a problem. Probably tipped over, yeah. the truck is... Yeah. yeah, not a good scene. Yeah, probably not good. Well, I'd like to talk about the steam drum because the steam drum is, is obviously very important um, to a water tube boiler. Yep. Um, but what does it do? So I'd like to first talk about um, what's it made of, you know, what, how do they protect it, things like that. Okay, it's, it's a um, uh, boiler plate steel, name comes from boiler plate. So it's a special ASTM 78 grade A uh, steel. Um, <clears throat> doesn't mean anything to anybody, it's just a number they use for, for all, all steel up to a certain pressure range, certain temperature range. Um, and everybody, every manufacturer uses the same steel. It's mm -hmm. all the same stuff. And it's protected with water. That's how they keep it from burning up. Keep water in it up to a certain level, wherever the fire or the hot gas is going to hit it. You keep water in it, that transfers the heat, keeps the metal cool. That's, that's the protection. Now, obviously the name steam drum means something. Yep. So why do they call it a steam drum? That's where the steam comes from. The water, because this would be the bottom side of the, of the steam drum itself. So this would be water up to about right here. And then the top half of that drum is all steam. That's a separation where the steam is just turning into a gas, which or the, the water is turning into a gas, which is what steam is. It's, it's actually a gas. <clears throat> and so when the water evaporates, turns into steam, uh, that's held in the top. Then there's separators in there that keep water from going out into the header, and then it, the steam goes out into the main steam header and out to the plant. Now the the tubes actually go into these holes. Go into these holes, and they're they're not welded in. Most people think that these tubes are welded into sealed. They're not. Mm -hmm. These are strictly rolled in. They take a mandrel with a tapered pin in it and a big air motor, and it's just rolled in. So that tube is just pressed against that that metal right there. And that's what holds the pressure in the, in the boiler itself. And typically you can't really see this, but the, uh, the actual grooves in here are, are Yeah, for different what? manufacturers put different grooves in there and they're, they're, they're to help seal. Okay. Because if you think about it, you've got a straight piece of metal and another metal piece of metal laying on top of it, that's, that's a straight line there for water to, to, to go through. But if you have a groove down in there, then that tube actually is pressed into that groove that just it just another another sealing area for that tube to seal against that, that more or that uh, steam drum. Now um, inside the actual steam drum, people may think that this is just uh, totally hollow. There's nothing yeah. in there, but there's actually a, a pretty full house in there. It is a full house. When you when you get, have to take one apart or open one up to get in there and work on it to clean the tubes, there's all kinds of steam baffles in there, and what those are. Those are buffers to keep the water, because it's pretty violent in that steam drum. Mm -hmm. Keep that water from surging and going out the header. So that, that baffle is sitting here and all those tubes are, are coming up against it. When that water comes through, it hits that baffle and that causes that water to stay there and then steam separates. That's why they call them steam separators. And the steam goes out and the water stays in the boiler itself. Now, uh, typically the pressures on a, on a water tube boiler are going to be in that 300 to 350 that, This is the 350 range. pound design unit. This was a rental unit that a customer decided to, to abused to the point we couldn't <laughs> repair it. So, so we made use of part of the steam drum. Uh, 350 pound design unit, and that's like a 5 8 uh, thick metal there on the steam drum, which is pretty mm -hmm. typical for that size board. So there, are there steam drums that actually on like a, a, a power plant and super critical type stuff? I mean, is yeah, they're, they're everywhere. Yeah, they're huge. This one is uh, 42 inches in diameter. Those can be six, eight feet in diameter, 15 feet in diameter, and the metal can be you know, instead of five eighths, it may be three or four, six, eight, ten inches uh, thick. It's, if they're super critical, it may be a ten inch thick steam drum. They're they're huge. So obviously, the pressure in this is, uh, you know, I mean, it's rated to be able to handle whatever pressure that the boiler is. But what if the pressure gets too great? How does it actually get relieved? There there are openings in the top of that steam drum. We'll show in a moment, and and we put relief valves on there that are set at. Uh, typically set at the MAWP, maximum allowable working pressure of the boiler itself, mm -hmm. and that those relief valves are set for the maximum capacity that that burner input to the boiler can generate steam, mm -hmm. so that, that protects the boiler from overpressurizing. Okay, um, so and then we also have um, something else back here that you want to talk about, and it's actually where the, the steam actually comes out. That right? is the steam nozzle, correct. 
So the steam nozzle is typically designed for the capacity of the boiler. Uh, we oversize these a little bit on the rental unit so that we can operate them from you know, 150 pounds up to 325 PSI. Okay. So that one's a little bit larger than what you would normally have. Um, and normally you'll have a non-return valve that mounts right on this. Uh, and that's so the pressure, the steam pressure in the system doesn't come back into the boiler itself. That keeps the two systems separated. Um, but that's pretty much the, the steam nozzle on the outlet to get all the steam out of the boiler itself. The, reality, in reality, the, the steam drum is the most important part of the pressure vessel as far as getting steam out into the system. I mean, that's where everything do, happens. It's where all the water uh, is generated into steam. That, that's where everything happens to keep from shoving water in, into the customer's header. Uh, the internals are super critical on these on the steam drum. And actually what we're looking at here is the top of the boiler. It is. This is the very top of the boiler itself. And so your relief valves. Relief valves are there. Um, we also have those size a little larger than is normal so that we can operate the unit at, you know, put 150 pound relief valves on it or we can put 350s on it, whichever, whatever site uh, requirements are. Gotcha. Non-return valve provided for the rentals, right? Absolutely. There you go. All right. Well, we appreciate Stephen hanging out with us as always, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Well, appreciate Stephen hanging out with us today on The Boiling Point. Well, today is Christmas, so Merry Christmas to you from everyone at Ware. I hope that you, your family has a great holiday season, and we always appreciate you hanging out with us and watching us on The Boiling Point. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, maybe share a video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and here's a little present from Santa. Merry Christmas to you. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.